But anyways, you mean the, we're uh, alive? I don't know. Maybe. Something about the dead babies again. Look, we said we were gonna stop talking about them. You brought them back up. Oh. We just got out of a oh. four-hour conversation about dead babies. I don't want to go back. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't. You know what's the sad part? This isn't yes. my first time with a conversation involving dead babies, sadly. Well, that's because at some point in time, you did, in fact, talk about the promised Neverland. <laughs> that's good with that dude. <laughs> no, okay, you know what? That's fair. It was with a friend that's into edge humor, and he talked about involving necrophilia. It was like, eh. Bleh. The two of those conversations should not, <laughs> not connect. Not up. I not know, link. and it was, I, I don't think the dead babies, but something involving dead bodies. Anyways, hello everyone. Cool. Welcome to hello. uh No Nut November. Cool. The chat box is working again. So yeah, happy No Nut November. Make sure to not nut in your nut. Or... Alternatively, do something productive with your your month that has nothing to do with masturbation. Know. Can't stop me. Can't stop me. <laughs> <laughs> I've already started, Sakura, and I'm a thousand leagues ahead. Gosh. Yes. Darn it. I will not be stopped, nor shall I be stopped. And I'm okay with this. I know you are. Yeah. So, today, of all days, we return. We kind of did a skip day, only specifically, to fix Sakura's addiction. And, uh... I'm stuff I want. It's a... It's, you do not. You struggle until you get tired of it. It's not addiction. I can stop whenever I want. I'm not a psychotic murderer. And we're full cycle. <laughs> And we're full cycle. <laughs> Lie to me, why don't you? I would never. That would be psychotic. I, I will fight you. Oh my god. So, before we hit off any of our lovely, <clears throat> lovely, lovely, lovely topics, I want to yeah. get this out of the way. I really, I just, I just, I really want to get this out of the way. This a couple of days ago was the exact date when the official in the anime of Sword Art Online was officially announced and released in the terms of the anime. And then apparently the guy from Oculus making a statement about making a VR. I know this is all bullshit. This is very much 100% bullshit because there's no way they could get that off the fucking ground. There's no if way. VR getting off the ground is like you telling <laughs> me that we're all going to be living in space and they finally have taken all the sci-fi medicines that they've made in these various movies over the years. Yeah. And now we have better med uh, healthcare everywhere, globally. Nah, it's probably... <laughs> it's the, the fucking... Uh, the fucking Vampire the Masquerade session we're having. That's what's going to eventually happen. Our planet's going to be blown up by some then st stupid and then held by uh like please uh wait hi everyone please be nice to me hello welcome welcome but what was i think yeah no it would just be vampire the masquerade situation i very much believe it if it's not caused by humans it's whatever entity is just like all right i'm tired of these fuckers <laughs> but yeah all right, Sakura, real talk? Yeah. Do you wholeheartedly believe that um, someone... Actually, no, I, th I very much believe. Uh, I very much going to believe that... Uh, what was it? That the whole SAO thing. Would you think people would actually commit to that? Oh, absolutely. Look, if a bunch of people can get around... To try and storm Area 51 because they want to embrace a meme about aliens being there. There's no reason people won't be like, look, let's go online. Uh, let's do something ridiculous and uh, horrifying to scar future generations. Like, 
a bunch of deaths start just popping up out of nowhere because people really want to give everybody that sort of online vibe. Yeah. Or fake deaths. Even worse. No, 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 no. Real deaths. 100%. Just death. I mean, either is bad, but you know, I feel like something that is like that is around the bin because, you know, we take things too far as a society. We take things way too far. There's no stop button, and we only get weirder and weirder as time goes on. So, Sword Art Online, more than likely, they're going to start just pumping out whatever uh, catches uh, fire the first and the fastest. Yeah. So, it's, it's whatever is the funniest. You see, that's what a robot would say. I can't believe you. God damn it. I'm not crazy. So cyberpunk? Okay, I am crazy. I okay. played that. I bought that game over full price. I am crazy. <laughs> I mean, so, oh my god. Seriously. I just, uh, at one point in time, I just want to go and look at a census of how many people bought the deluxe edition for uh, Cyberpunk 2077. Like the census. And how many people. Yeah, just like right out the gate and immediately despise that. I mean, but my heart goes out to the people that got it on consoles because whew, we have to take that off the consoles. It wasn't that bad. I mean, again, they still are planning on making a sequel outside of the DLC. So, you know, that money. Yeah. Since they got a. Hey, Naruto, how you doing? But what uh, shall so we have a bunch of topics to at least discuss. Which one do you prefer jumping yeah, into? Let's jump, jump into the one at the end. Do it. All right. So so this subject is. Uh, let me change. The, uh, change. We'll just get into it. The TV. Ah, here it is. What is Smusky? fucking weave this shit up there you go so what is musky coon up to aka elon musk the man that owns twitter the man that's launched a car to space someone 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 flamethrower so this one's a little silly i know there's actually two there's like the whole man trying to charge people like eight dollars or something on twitter to at least get the little blue, uh, the blue check. So for this one is actually from Kotaku, comedians, actors, and uh, chip tune artists suspended from Twitter because Elon Musk has no idea what he's doing. Lovely, lovely interaction, and then an image of him as fucking Waluigi. So, uh, a number of high-profile verified users have had Twitter accounts suspended over the last few days after seemingly breaking, but also not breaking, some new rules instituted by the site's new owner, Elon Muskichan. Uh, let me see. Musk, who, brought, uh, who bought the social media platform despite not knowing what to do with it, uh, how to run it, or being able to afford it, which is questionable, um, began his uh, venture... Oh, wait. Yeah. His venture last month by celebrating the return of free speech. And quickly reminding everyone that people uh, championing free speech the loudest are rarely interested in any such thing. Okay? I'll kind of kind of drop the ball and allowed a bunch of dumb things. Like, to just be discussed. Like, uh, what was it? Like, the anti-LGBTQ and shit like that. But mainly, he 
clear, like he's very much wholeheartedly trying to at least profit off of Twitter, <laughs> advertising there's free speech. But still, like, questions just being, like, not knowing what he's doing. So, um, yeah, that's the high and low of it, other than just people really just giving him a whole fit. Like, uh, so there's literally a Twitter being, like, uh, let me see, is this, is this a... yeah, no, so just charging people and stuff like that. That's the more great and less of it where he doesn't know what he's doing he's just doing basically whatever the fuck he wants advertising free speech about it and then proceeds to just well kind of just suspending anyone he wants to at this point but what's your opinions about this waluigi impersonator i mean i don't quite get it and to be completely fair with you Twitter is so outside of my, not just like wheelhouse, but just scope of understanding that I have to, I have to get references from many people to uh, understand what Twitter is currently. Because at first I thought this is just another friggin' social media pl uh, platform, like the Tumblrs and the Facebooks and the MySpaces of old. But no, this is more or less a, uh, it's like a forum. It's just caught fire. Hot. Scalding, face scalding fire. And uh, I, I feel like it's it's not really a place where anything um, anything forward moving can actually be said upon. It's mainly just a what insane thing has someone done next uh, the website. <laughs> Yeah, because you got you got uh, people from various companies that they've been at the head of for many, 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 many years coming out doing outrageous things. You got the movies, you got games, you got various forms of, of uh, TV entertainment, all these various places and people, either be it employees or the heads themselves, just kind of going out of their way to be uncharacteristically violent and open and those two should not be in the same wheelhouse as, as each other they should be separate you're either violent or you're open and and there's a there's a platform of speech where everybody can like comment and it's more or less just airing out whatever is is there be it dirty or clean laundry hopefully clean but that's never been the case with twitter Currently, it doesn't seem like that. It just seems like a place where one can create memes of these uh, places of memes. some repute. I mean, they're great, but there there are many better places. Uh, looking all the way away from TikTok, there are many many places where memes can exist. And I'm not uh, sorry. Uh, the the shit I send you, I'm not sorry. I'll keep Look, saying. I didn't ask you for an apology. All right, but it has to be said there are many places, um, but I don't feel like Twitter was supposed to be a place where people are just going to war with one another for no reason. I mean, there's already and yet they still that. do that. Well, that is, is 4chan still a thing? I forgot. I think it is. It exists as long as people believe in it, and <laughs> people still believe in it. Um, I fucking fail. but it just it doesn't seem like there's there's any point to this platform currently besides uh news that i guess there's no other way to get as fast because people post to twitter faster than they speak to people that yes. are right in front of them I you, you could get a post on twitter before i finish this conversation <laughs> you have already sent me at least like seven posts and i'm like wait what how i haven't finished the sentence yet i have hands right there I, yeah I, so I, I can always add soccer of being and be like soccer being a saucy fast, baka. Fast news is all that Twitter is. And because of that, I can totally see someone like Elon Musk, who's all about speed and none of the consequences or repercussions that come with speed, just 
buying it and taking it for a spin. I the man's to, quote unquote going profit. around a circle. Yeah, like it just this is Elon Musk taking Twitter is like Donald Trump becoming president. No one wanted it. No one asked for it. It's here now and it will probably be gone before anyone really truly cares enough to make more than memes about it. I I don't I don't see I'm not any what point in what he's doing. I'm pretty sure if it gets bad enough, Twitter will happen the same way Tumblr did. They'll break it down and then rebrand it as something that's totally safe for everyone. Bro, you know what's weird? People are trying to bring Tumblr back. Really? Yeah. So I saw like on I saw on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> um, where there are people that are thinking about moving instead of just staying on Twitter because the whole blue check mark or whatever the fuck mm. and all that fiasco that they're thinking of me like, oh, maybe I should go to Tumblr. Maybe I should go somewhere specifically. Maybe an art specific focused website looks over at DeviantArt. Hi. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> So, yeah, no, so I've seen that, especially since people are ready to just jump ship on a place. Okay, I'm going to be really aware. People are kind of, they kind of blab, especially whenever it comes to social media, because I know people want to at least have a place that they have an excuse to vent their feelings or advertise something that they do or art, because I know my lovely artist friends like a Maya, Raptor, just so on and so forth, advertise their content of what they at least make or what they're trying to at least do in terms of commissions. Mm -hmm. Just so that, you know, show it off and see, hey, possible business of people that are interested. Also, hi, Aiden. But yeah. just trying to at least get that, use the platform as a business, which, again, Twitter... Facebook, uh, MySpace. Yeah, I said MySpace. No one can fucking stop me. And, you know, so on and so forth. All these platforms are a open opportunity, especially whenever you're trying to advertise yourself, if not YouTube or Twitch or any kind of platform that's like showing an actual stream. All these others are technically options to at least advertise in that sense because myspace what's that well you see youngin oh my back it was the bees knees before the that fucking facebook thing that ruined the quest for poor quest users you know cheaper vr headsets that also allowed children to go on vr chat scary enough scary enough i mean i mean facebook's uh not even as popularly known for that terrifying thing than it is for just being more invasive than any browser you're currently using yep. or your internet provider. You want to know a, Facebook a knows fun everything fact? about you. Yeah, but you, <laughs> but you know, you want to know a fun fact about Facebook? Mm. Anything you post there <clears throat> belongs to Facebook. Oh yeah, that too. Yup. Anything from Facebook. And now I'm just going to at least say this again, chat. If you post anything on Facebook, technically they own the rights to it, which is fucking disgusting. So, yeah. So, don't post shit unless you're just there to advertise something. If you want to post a link, sure. But if you post, like, anything like art, be careful. Because Facebook will at least try to claim it's kind of dumb. Because apparently that's a, that has had previous instance of them just trying to be like, Get mine now. Oh, you want to tell Fuck you. Ridiculous. It's like, just, yeah, no. So, Facebook is nasty. Twitter has always been nasty, but it's just because people do that. Why, why people dislike League? people people and it's just a really generic MOBA game that's just hey install for free spend money on I'm not gonna lie skins. after what? I experienced once again in this current uh, time period that is 2022 Dota 2 again 
I cannot see any reason why people still play League of Legends outside of the fact that Riot makes the best music I've yes. ever heard in my life. That is, that's how they get away with it, Sakura. They, I just like, they make much, much better games than League of Legends could ever be, but people still play it. There's still huge, unnecessarily costly tournaments yep. that yep. I'm pretty sure that same amount of money could be used better in any capacity. Yep. Like, Oh boy. But you know. But don't forget, I mean, they also have the new hit classic, Vul Ver 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 Veronica. Veronica. <laughs> Val okay, actually, real talk of uh, Valorant, since that's under oh. Riot. Vsauce. Okay. <laughs> hey, Vsauce here. I mean, it's. They have that, but that's just Counter Strike. It's just yeah. Counter Strike with It's anime Counter Strike, silly Billy. Yeah, Counter Strike with superpowers. I know what I said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Overwatch Counter Strike. Gotcha. No, see, it's, in order to be Overwatch, you have to be in a in a state Useless? of moving. Well, that too. You have to be. There has to be a moving objective, and there's never a moving objective. It's all one singular thing. You pl you get a bomb, you plant a bomb, you defend a bomb, in whichever order. And that's it. There's, you no, get there's gun. nothing more. You stand still less. if you actually want to successfully shoot something. I've always been interested in like the. Uh, I was interested in the other modes that they had available because I was like, oh, maybe they take the Counter Strike thing and just like, here you go. If you <laughs> like Counter Strike, we have this, and then here's something new and innovative. And then I saw it and played it, and I was like, that was useless. You know, right. PlayStation Two games and like. <laughs> the early 2000s did this better, right? You, yeah. Are we on the same page? Are you... No. Okay. De you dear right, Sakura, right? <laughs> they wish I know you had profit. a lot of laybacks, and I know you've had a lot of allegations. I just want to know if you're okay, champ. <laughs> I know the music team's doing great, though. Like, you should, we should really just check in with them to see if they're cool, because... Wow. They should really just stop making games and just make music. They're so good at it unnecessarily so you wouldn't I mean, think a company okay known too. for making a the stinking top-down uh, player versus player uh game where people like timo exist but somehow for, somehow for. tiny little yordles uh oh, translates to intense innovative world-changing uh well not world-changing but it's worldwide i guess music that everybody can attest to it's good maybe you don't think it's the greatest but you definitely think you can't say it's bad you can't say they weren't trying i could say that there's something oh, yeah, yeah. Uh... you could say they're terrible at making legal legends still a thing and never doing anything like I feel like League of Legends is just like their discarded child that occasionally makes them money, but they're already off to bigger and better things that just exist there. I mean, that's why and, they have like animation projects like Arcane and the the fighting game and even their JRPG. Don't you remember yeah. the Lost King of Simba? Yeah, I just remember it not being longer, what? and that's that too. A lot, a lot of <laughs> like a lot of effort. I mean. Look, I I stopped having faith in games being good a long time ago. At this point, they have to surprise me with it, and then I'm like, oh wow, this is good. That's crazy. Oh, this right. is going super. I think just on a norm, games, uh, all games to me now and in the future, Always just like oh, this is, yep, super low. This is here, cool. How are they gonna mess it up? And I'm just like, <laughs> oh wow, this is. <laughs> That's my only thought process. Look at this cool game. Okay, so how are they going to mess it up? All right, I see a lot of things that could absolutely be broken. Mm. Oh, the developers yeah, here decided to be wrong. fully transparent about their game, trying to make the people think, mm, it's going to get better. It's not. What you're seeing is exactly what you're going to get. You're, you're, you're going to buy it anyway. That. You're going to shut over up, yourself, smile, and buy it. Take that in the face. Shovel it into your mouth. Y'all yes. eat that. Also, apparently, Angelfish says, Saku friend yeah. yo want the rest of my dog uh no. hubby what am i gay G give me it i okay that was that a, like a like a that was full, a story from like angel fish of a, the husband 
of angel fishes being like what am i gay yeah uh, give me okay yeah okay all right i just, i didn't realize it was a conversation between the friend yeah. and then the husband and now i understand yeah the back and forth yeah i don't i really hope i really hope it was just the transaction of the dog going from one place to the other and not anything else <laughs> you don't want a, a fucking horrifying experience of what that dog doing what the dog i don't doing? want body horror in nah. dog form i just don't need it in my life so speaking about dog forms you know you know it'd be amazing that one sonic frontier is out now so people mm -hmm. can probably do little cursive little lines and make little circles and draw you little dicks so that you can have coins pop out of the grass and whatever. I'm going to wait until that bitch's discount. Cool music is cool. I have yet to be disappointed by Sonic music, but, uh, you know, like I say, I'm a fucking way for any $60 fucking game to drop. <laughs> yep, it's, it's getting much harder to ever fully invest in a developer because a lot of them these days don't deserve it yep. and you just don't they can just suck sad my ads. there are a few ones that do mm. and they get nothing they get pennies from people because they're they're kind unnecessarily so and they sell their products fairly and people abuse the hell out of it pirate yep. it and step all over that and then meanwhile you got people paying stupid money uh to the nearest gotcha game and any game that has like a royale or a cash shop or uh a game that's just coming out because they've overhyped you and you've been sold like the sheep you are sorry to say it sorry to you're know. not sorry what the fuck no no i'm not not yeah, the slightest i, I have so. to say that because the teleprompter tell me tells me to but <laughs> what do you mean the tv changed the topic to sega is hiring a sonic lore master to keep up with all his nonsense not that prompter the little thing that i'm reading right now never mind anyway <laughs> so, you ready for this you you ready for this specific fucking I, I subject <laughs> I don't know why they need a lore master. They have a comic book. No, no, they no, have no, no. many comic books. No, 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 lore. no. So, <clears throat> today in the job lists that exclude a uh that exudes a menacing aura, Sega is looking to hire a Sonic lore master. Underline that. Highlight that bitch. They wanted lore a master. Sonic lore master. To keep track of the Blue Hedgehog's canon and non-canon antics. If you have a degree in arts and just so happen to be doom scrolling through job hiring website, which I've done previously, I openly admit, hey, but I now have a job. Yeah. So, but if you look up the website in LinkedIn, you might come across a job application from Sega of America. For a lore associate manager for Sonic Team. Yes, Sonic has established lore within its video games, movies, and Loki, uh, Loki slept on comic books. Which, by the way, has many, many re re like retcons. Mm. Don't you remember Overly Buff's Tails and his super form? Mm. Memory. Yeah, I remember Super Saiyan Tales. What about him? <laughs> That's technically been fucking retcon because of the chaos blast between him and Mega Man. Man, it's a good thing I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> Though many might be uh, scratching their heads at the existence of a Sonic lore, one doesn't simply go fast without having a pre-established reason. Over the past... 30 is that, yeah 31 years of sonic existence the hedgehog's lore has involved a lot of shit i'm just gonna at least skip to a lot of things and even the introduction to the edgiest edgelord of his shadow clone jutsu shadow the fucking hedgehog after like hot topic and uh yeah stole like and then you know the existence of that 
and then I'm just trying to see if there's anything else interesting about this subject. Okay, no, there's nothing else other than memes and apparently them trying to hire someone to keep track of the actual lore and what's canon and what's not canon. <laughs> but soccer, yeah, no, it's... real question. What? Would you apply to that job if they offered it to you? Not unless they paid me what would equivalent to millions at the end what? of the day. Okay, but what if it was like... Because it's Sega, and I know they have billions, so there's no reason that I'm not getting paid okay, millions hear me out. for this stupid 30 nonsense. bucks an hour. Is that I, is that good? Well, if you do full-time, and it's 40, uh -huh. 40 plus hours, you just right? do 30 times 40. Okay. Yeah. So, add that up to the 40 hours, and if they allow overtime, mm -hmm. which... The minimum would be maybe approximately like 50 if they were nice. So if you approximate that, so if they at least charge in 30 bucks plus the 40 just as a base, you'd be paid for at least 1,400. Nah, 50. 50? 50 yeah. Man, shit. Yeah. Not gonna lie, I kind of want to I ain't doing it. <laughs> oh, you know what? Fair. But for my ass, I'd be like, fuck yeah. Listen, 30 bucks in this day and age. I'm sure I'm someone has already been hired and is already getting to work at this point in time See, to do it. But the thing that doesn't make sense to me, why the mm -hmm. fucking art degree out of all other yo. things? Yo, 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 yo. What? what if the people that make those terrible, like those terrible, stop. but terrible, stop. but good stop you, fan dubs. No! Yes. You're a monster. To be the lore masters. Oh, and no. And finally gets to piss on the moon. Yes. Okay. But, no, it has to make the one specific fan dub that has uh, that voice actor that did, uh, like, Eggman. Paper House. Yeah, yeah, Paper House. That, could, that lovely man. I mean, they might make that if they, get, if they get if they get the rights, which they will, which they, it's only a matter of time, Vincent. All right, they've been no. waiting for this. They've been sitting around making fan dubs, waiting for this moment. It's here. People it's all according up to this plan. To them. What plan to fucking make the pissing on the moon cannon? It's gonna happen. I, I count it down as a mere minutes, seconds to. Uh, launch but i think just in general this is silly if someone gets it, it they I better get paid it. they better get paid this better not be one of those oh it's free because you're doing what you love no if they're not getting paid screw you sega burn just burn i mean apparently I'm, it's a management I'm so thinking, that's exactly what i'm talking about it's a management yeah, like, wait, I'm gonna look at what it was saying. So, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, for a lore associate manager. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm still sitting here like, but why an Hang art degree instead of someone page. that's good at tracking history? More than likely, it's because they're going to bring them on uh, to <laughs> make art for Sonic as well. That's dumb! They're just wanting technically a historian for a fucking fictional blue yeah. fucking hedgehog. Yeah. That's what that is. It's a historian. Yeah. Okay. I'm like, yeah. If yeah. you can't multitask, if you're not bilingual, if you don't have some special quirk, we don't want you. That's what Sega said. No, that's literally every job. Yeah. Can I so, get a job? Do you have any experience? Can you jump through this hoop of fire without pay? <laughs> You answer yes, <laughs> you can. You're, you're gonna at least get paid really like below minimum wage. But if we like you enough, we're gonna add pennies. Mm -hmm. Maybe even They're quarters. <gasps> jingly, jingly. The jingles. You know you like this. Hey, Angel. You know you won't get anything else. Hey, Vincent. Hello, Angel. But, um, yeah, no. I like, okay, not gonna lie, I would still take it because. To me, that's kind of actually really cool. For mm. two reasons. One, yeah. you get paid just keeping track of what's fucking canon. And just a quick click, 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 click,
that's that's the end all be all because it could be fun in, in scope but then when the bills cometh and you've got nothing to show for is it as fun or is it just hell that you've now signed your I soul mean, to? I mean, as long as you keep, keep receipts and make sure you don't get caught <coughs> being at a voice actress. Ooh. I called it. I would have sided mm. with her. I have to throw that shade right now, then later. I don't know why you would hit hit him with a lie, though, in a place like Twitter. You know you it clown. never ends well. No, no, no. no. Now, we, now we have to at least quick talk about this. I'm throw, I threw that shade, but now we have to talk about this super quick. So, for those that don't know, the lovely voice actress for Bayonetta, well, the original Bayonetta, did a good work. You would recognize it. It's not hard. So, she originally tried to put the creator, I mean, put the Platinum Studios on blast, meaning like, I've only been given 4K, and that is not enough to at least pay for myself. So you're like, okay, I side with her. She is an amazing, like, a lovely individual. Apparently, she got caught in a lie. And you know what's the worst part? <laughs> Her shit st should still be pinned of that call-out post, basically, towards Platinum. On her fucking Twitter still. <laughs> should, qu quotations. But, so basically she got caught in a lie that she was actually getting paid more than that. That they at least had a quotation, they had receipts. And then she's out here being like, No, ha. <laughs> Saying other things whenever her original intentions were to boycott it, but it seemed like there was more to it in the background. So, she was originally trying to boycott Bayonetta 3, all because she's not, quote-unquote, getting paid enough. Just because this was one of the very few, but always fun to watch instances of a person being a little too greedy. Yup. Oh. And then proceeding to get outed back whenever she tried to out it a company. A little slightly uh, bad for uh, the friggin' um, the director or producer of, of uh, Bayonetta getting flagged by so many people at first. Like, oh, and then he killed things? his Twitter. Mm -hmm. He killed he his fucking Twitter. Pulled a full Vic Mignogna again here in 2022. Whew. Man, people still at least. People will always be out for witch hunting. They always carry their emergency case of a fucking pitchfork and a fucking already lit torch by their door. In case of witch. <laughs> yeah, in, in case of, like, in case of group gathering. Not even just witch, <laughs> it's just group gathering. And they'll just have an excuse to at least go over there and be like, Oh yeah, are we hunting someone? Oh yeah, no. Uh, the the, ch the voice actress, the Bayonetta said she was being underpaid, that she couldn't take care of herself with this level of pay. No, that's not okay. Meanwhile, creators. So we have receipts. No, sh I want to support her because she's sexy and I love her voice in the video games. So I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm throwing shades at the Sims. I'm I'm doing it. How are you, Vincent? I mean, I'm doing well. I'm throwing shade. Know, <laughs> mm. I feel like it's one of those things where it's always the it's the fallback of you can absolutely love what a person produces. It can it can be the thing that brought you to a good point in your life, got you through childhood, whatever the case may be. But you can 100% greatly dislike and not support the person yeah. who made it because like they could be the mm -hmm. worst like i i think for the longest time i was super on board with uh kevin spacey because i loved his voice and i loved the music that he would go and either go um what's the word uh what, what is the, the cover there we go oh. songs that he would cover and the songs, the songs that he would make and then i learned that he's not so great a guy not, just uh just in a more like I guess morally questionable sense of of borderline pedophilia, I, I think, was the the allegations against him. Wait, what? Uh, oh, yeah. Yikes. Hmm. 
not know about so that. So at first it was just like, uh, people continued to get on this case about uh, dating younger men. And I was like, why, why do you care? That's his business. And I was like, what do you mean by younger? <laughs> where, where, does that, where, does that, where does that lead? And I was like, oh. 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 So, as the good saying goes, you can appreciate the arts. You don't have to appreciate the artiste. Never meet your heroes. Oh, never meet your heroes. I actually, I'll still wholeheartedly believe in a streamer known as Snake. Um, be the best example than the your current example. That is a wholehearted quote I have like respected, and I will always go back to. So, yeah, no, that's a. So anyways, yeah, so that's a personal opinion with that. Why? Why voice actress a Bayonetta? Did you want to at least sink your ship and then also try to go for the throat of the person that's replacing you? Being like, you don't deserve it. Bro, I need money. You need money. We all need money in this fucking day and age. But I'm not going to at least be like, oh... You stole my role. You don't deserve it. Motherfucker, what? Oh. Yeah. The way she at least worded it was very unprofessional in my perspective. And I wish she didn't do it because a voice actress at least makes a choice. Do you mm -hmm. take a role that is honestly recognized and iconic? Or you don't. And you don't get paid that money that gets suggested by either if you have management. Because most people have a manager to at least work on the organization and stuff like that. Especially if right. it comes down to voice actors. Do you take a role or do you try to at least, you know, believe someone else and be like, oh, hey, don't take this role. It's morally not right. And it's just like, but I need to pay bills. So it's kind of like morals versus money, more or less. But so I'll take that fucking money and put it in my pocket so I can pay my bills and live another fucking day. But yeah, no. So everything was taken out of whack. Bayonetta's voice actress very much clowned herself. And uh, I don't think there's really anything else to add for that. I no, think... we... no, we can we can move on to something. So much more... <laughs> uh important and that is prince of persia oh, will man. it cook will it cook can we cook it will it become yet another vampire the masquerade bloodlines 2 and never see the light of day uh that one still hurts man still hurts i i, I didn't even need it to be good all right i just needed to see it i'm just today. gonna put it prince of persia to be continued do, 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 do. I mean, look, here's here's the thing, right? Prince of Persia, like the final game that they made for, uh, I think it was Xbox 360. Yeah, it which was. was that that sort of like it wasn't a reboot. It was just like it was a rhythm the game. Final, like <laughs> it was the the final stroke in uh, the prince's long, strange time looping life, which were the color movie was, version. No, that was that was equivalent to Dragon Ball Evolution. Ooh. I'm talking about the game, the game where he was uh, um, co-opting his experience with uh, some lady who basically opened up color as an option of uh, traversing life, literally using color yeah. to shape the world around you. I it thought was, it was cool. so okay. It was weird, but it was like. One of those games that you could just kind of like go with. I think I still have it downloaded into my Xbox 360. What was the name of it, if you remember? It was just called Prince of Persia. Was it? Yeah. It There's was no fancy name? Nope. Just called Prince of Persia. That's weird. Maybe it was a reboot then. Um... It's, well, <sighs> the story was like, hey, I'm a wandering like prince meet this chick use your blade to rewind time with her power she's able to at least remove this corruption 
he needs her help, vice versa. Uh, I thought the the story for him was interesting in a way that was just like the the dynamic between him and his penance for screwing with time and it following him throughout every instance of his journey. Oh my man. Um but also being the only reason he could undergo it in the first place was interesting. Like our all right, I saved my my kingdom and I saved basically time and, and space but also now time is coming after me you know because I've, I've i've screwed with death so many times and death is just like no 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 no, i gotta balance the scales you need to come back <laughs> you need to die he's like no i'm i'm still here i, I want to you know bask in the cake that i i made please and uh just him basically going back and forth until eventually he does the hero trope of screwing with something and uh ruining whatever it is he was trying to achieve and making it worse and then trying uh, to and make then having to fix it. it yeah mm -hmm. you know only to learn weird. that he just has to make peace with it what yeah. the art style that they chose for the prince for that last game mm. it was kind of nice i was actually kind of yeah. vibing it was really pretty it's just the gameplay was kind of boring it was kinda sadly boring. It didn't have the same hit as another game that did the did a similar thing, but did it better with characters that were met, uh, made to mesh uh, better. Which was yeah, Klonoa. Oh uh, no, well, uh, the game enslaved. Well, yeah, the knockoff Song Wu Kong, right? Yeah, the yeah. dude who was who was who was super angry, and 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 that's like the first instance of it's basically Beauty and the Beast. Is, yeah. is what that game was. That but game also was Journey to the West, but like have that weird drug trip while trying to keep mm -hmm. the bare bone combo mechanics. Journey to the West meets Bullet Storm meets Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. That strange love child. Also, I sent you the box art. It was literally just called Prince of Persia. Because I have that, like, I had and played that game for like a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then I kind of stopped because I was like, all right, this is starting to frustrate me. <laughs> Because there was, Fair. like, all you had to do was commit to these platforms, like, platforming stages. Oh, now you're in the new area. Let's purify it. Oh, you got to fight a boss. How do you fight a boss? Basic swing, basic swinging. And then add in your friend to at least run up, smash into him. And then if you QTE it correctly, you're done. Oh, you did it? Now we have to start from zero. That and keep on going until you restore color to the whole world. Yo, that to me is really infuriating to at least give you a game, like present you a game mm -hmm. and then keep the mechanics basic, but have it so punishing where, oh, you're about to win. Haha, <laughs> JK Psych, you have to start from zero. That's what the boss think, fights in Prince of Persia were. I think the Prince of Persia game where there was literally him and then like his dark personification uh in the form of like the oh, sands yeah. <laughs> of time facing him his yeah. like shadow version or whatever uh the the two thrones would be what you're referring to yeah that one to me was my favorite just because they carried on with the story and it was gritty and dark and Midi. super edgy but Midi. it was good for its time it was it was it was not too overplayed the characters were they had enough personality that you could differentiate between the villain lady, the uh, heroine, and then the hero. And that you didn't, you weren't just like, the prince? You mean the princess? No, wait, you mean, uh, wasn't wasn't she the one with the whip? No, that's the villain. What? What are you talking about? Who? <laughs> Mommy? Just Sorry. getting very confused. Like, I mean, she was dressed like that. She was Mommy. dressed like some BDSM chick. <laughs> so, like... Don't get me wrong. I've only my personal experience with Prince of Persia has only been the 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 two thrones, but for the Wii mm -hmm. version, because I'm a child that was like intimidated by action adventure games until like I finally played like I finally stopped that and then did Kingdom Hearts, and then I did, I think I did the Star Wars, that Star Wars one. Oh, what was it called? The one where you play as the Padawan to Vader. What was it called? Oh, where you play as the Padawan to Vader? Oh, you mean Unleashed? Unleashed. The Force Unleashed? Yeah, but the Wii version. It was kind of 
I don't like playing that Wii version. The Wii Force Unleashed. <laughs> the, the Have Wii. you beat your stick enough? No? Well, you better beat it harder. Man. <laughs> Beating my stick makes me think about No More Heroes all the time. Remember, don't talk to the developer of No More Heroes. He'll block you on Twitter. Yeah, so will the uh, developers of Saints Row. So, you know, it's not new. Have you been blocked by the developers of Saints Row? No, but that will require two things. One, being active on Twitter, and Man. two, caring about the developers of Saints Row. Damn, all right, fair enough. But, um, <laughs> back to the actual point. Prince of Persia was still one of those classic games because you'd see it side by side with Assassin's Creed, uh, God of War, it was one of those games that you would recognize as one of those type of uh, of genres. And, you know, and it deserved its throne. Would you agree or disagree? Say again? Like, it deserved its throne. Being like, you know, being the era as it was for PlayStation 2. Like, it literally had four games. And, yeah. um... And, like, it was literally side-by-side side from, like, God of War... Prince of Persia, um, I'm trying to think what was the other one. I just said it, and then I just fucking lost it in my brain. It was just one of those recognizable games that it's hard to forget. And, like, its gameplay was not bad. Like, you know. They never did anything to utterly destroy it. Like many other games have done, you know, we've had so many opportunities for games to be like, well, core gameplay, throw it out. Any likable characters, kill them off right now. Anything having to do with a story that's understandable and not excessively convoluted to the extent of Kingdom Hearts and Hi, I'm uh, Sora. Final Fantasy, just specifically final fantasy 7 uh many of the final fantasy games are kind of ridiculous and convoluted but final fantasy 7 has a special place where you're just like the only one that can top it is uh i think it's 13 13 is the only one that can top it for convoluted story yeah and that's just because whereas 7 was trying too hard 13 wasn't trying enough <laughs> and there's no in between there are two extremes where one is just like I don't know, things happen, I guess. And the other one's just like, so really, you have to think about it like this, right? Got to think from of my it perspective, as an angle. To you, yeah, you got to like look at it from uh, from Aerith's point of view, right where she was stabbed. What do you think she was thinking? <laughs> like, bro, I don't fucking care. What do you think she was uh, appearing to manifest in that moment? And how bad do you think Sephiroth felt about stabbing someone he didn't <laughs> know? Not at all? You're very correct. Um, <laughs> but what if you never knew that? What if, what if you, you learned knew? that she left the oven on? Yeah. What if What if she did that and no one's ever going to turn it off? Because she got stabbed by a dude with one wing and a lot of crazy hair gel just poured into his person. Also, a he lot has of way fake too much hair. He has way too much hair for any human to sustain. Way too much. Good thing he's not a human. Oh no, spoiler for a really old fucking game. <laughs> yeah, he's a clone. Get over it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no, I was just throwing shade at them and be like, spoilers! And I'm like, to who? There's a really whole synopsis of it. There's a wiki! The fact that there was a whole Clone Wars in Final <laughs> Fantasy VII is, is insane. It's like Star Wars is just sitting. George Lucas is just like, you know, what? I don't even care. I'm making more money than you anyway. And just... <laughs> oh, I'm still coming money during this time period. After I sold out to Disney, I'm just, I don't have to work ever again. And uh, you're still working really hard for anyone to love you. <laughs> what are you at? Final Fantasy 16 now? That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> I profit. Uh, 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 uh. It's sad. But, you know, I will say this, though. They did the whole clone thing kind of interesting. They didn't make it boring, at least. They made Sephiroth, and then another Sephiroth. Don't do, don't forget Sephiroth. And then the Sephiroth children. Fucking... Never forget that. I repressed that memory of Advent Children. The design they... was cool and edgy, but Advent Children can go to hell. 
Those those clone babies of Sephiroth were pedophiles. Uh, we will never forget that. We will never forget they were oh! trying to take all those children. Yeah, and just take their. There was a whole scene where they col they rounded up the children and were about to do who knows what to get the uh uh them to Live take streams. the special drug. Yeah, Ew. and become one with Sephiroth. What does that entail? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't, don't know. know. I don't want to know. Leave me alone. <laughs> Sephiroth, no, stop knocking like, at my door. Don't you Sephiroth, want to you have slam? to control your children. They watch way too much Boku no Pico. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! Uh, just Sephiroth knocking at the door. Hey. Hey. Come to the promised land. No! Come to the promised land. No! We have cookies. Uh... We can use meteors to destroy anyone you don't like. I'm just saying. Ooh. I can just cast them down. <laughs> and then you just kind of like give that, like, still think about it. It's like, but you will have to pre be a predator on children and yeah. knock out a girl that tries to take yeah. care of those children. No! <laughs> <laughs> Man, I really thought I got him with that one. Was it Tifa? Yeah, it was Tifa. No! Get out! And just has like, an, uh, like a fucking... <laughs> You know those paper, paper stand? <laughs> oh, like, Tifa. Know, it's fine. They're, those children don't matter anyway. And Tifa, she's just a terrorist. You're fine. Your conscience is totally clean. <laughs> I gotta love the fact that the good guys were just terrorists. And they yeah. were almost able to get away with it until, Seth, like, until Cloud realized, Maybe this is a bad thing, guys. Shut up. We're blowing the shit up. Okay, Barry. I mean, yeah. The funny thing is, even though they were set to succeed, they 100% fumbled the ball and got captured. And that, to me, Multiple will always occasions. be a funny thing. So many times where it's just like, they're doing the mission, the mission is going well, they screw it up royally, get captured, and you're just mm -hmm. like, these are our heroes. Please save us. <laughs> Speaking about trying to at least save their heroes, also, here's a fun fact. Did you know, apparently, for that Prince of Persia game, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know which one was this one. So it was probably the the remake of Sands of Time, a.k.a. Wait, which one was that? The first one? Yeah, they were going to remake it. Oh. But it got canceled. Okay, yeah. hold up. Yeah. How the hell Yeah. can Resident Evil... Yeah. Get like three separate remakes. And four, uh, four. No, I, I, had to, I had to take that back. Four separate remakes. It's, I think there's a remake of every Disney movie now, at least several hundred dozen times. Okay. But you're telling me Prince of Persia can't get one? Not one? But you want to know. You can give me Mass Effect Andromeda, but you can't give me a remake of Prince of Persia? What the hell? But you want to know the real answer? Yes. It's Ubisoft. Ubisoft owns the rights to them. And much like Bioware and Jade Empire, they'll do nothing with it. Yep. So, at least doing a quick read of what's saying. So, Prince of Persia pre-orders canceled, but Ubisoft swears it's not dead. It is dead, sorry. After Bioware really made me want to turn into... <laughs> I'm sorry with this side note, but Bioware really made me want to turn into a game developer just to beg them for the rights of that game, to give it a an actual ending because the way that they ended it no, no. only produced more questions <laughs> i i just oh, oh, oh. i just don't understand <laughs> and they doubled down on mass effect like they were like you know what the fans aren't hungry enough let's feed them a little bit more supper and give them andromeda no one asked for this uh, Let's double back and give them another Dragon Age game. No one asked for this. Yeah, but and, still proceed yet, to spit in your eye. And yet, when the chips are at their lowest, mm. Star Wars The Old Republic still exists. Yep. And probably will stay and, a while. And they'll never make another yep. better version yep. of that horrible, horrible holding on by its coattails of a storyline that is the only saving grace of that entire game. Yep. And, uh, I don't 
I don't understand the, the day and age we live in. I just don't. As far as games are concerned, where where do we stand? Is it only going to get worse? Is it only just going to spiral further down? It depends. Honestly, wholeheartedly, it depends on the willingness and open communication. You want to talk about open communication, Vincent? You want to talk about that? We will. All right. I got a witcher that has a word. A word for the public. Please, carry oh. on with the Prince of Persia. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll at least continue that. So, after multiple delays in radio silence, Ubisoft published an FAQ on its Troubled Sands of Time remake. It took them, by the way, two years. So, <clears throat> two years after it announced the first announce and following a string, uh, not a single string, but strings of delays and bad news ubisoft officially confirmed that the game <laughs> isn't dead but it has canceled all pre-orders and refunded everyone their money yeah which <sighs> is good at least they didn't pull a fallout and just keep the money even though if you didn't heard more recently ubisoft's trying to no longer use that ubisoft app which is trying to remove games so that you wouldn't be able to get play those said games of yours from them. Basically, they're trying to take away games, and that's take illegal. Take it off my stinking <laughs> computer. That'd be weird. Yeah, but yeah, no. I've apparently there was a report of someone saying that Ubisoft was taking games of people, like games that people purchased, and just being like, "Nope, not yours anymore." Fuck you. So, yeah, Ubisoft, uh, kind of shady, like like group. But uh, continuing from the least the uh, the conversation, remember, remember the tenth of September, twenty twenty. Well, you do. That's when Ubisoft first announced that it was remaking. So this hurts. This is the remake. Of the beloved PS2 action platformer, Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, a.k.a. the first game. The game was critically acclaimed at the time, with mainly praising the way it lets you manipulate time and stylized look. It would lead to a full trilogy of equally popular games, which ends up, that's why my statement still stands, at least is recognized with those big boys up there. Assassin's Creed, God of War, and, you know, it stood there too bad you know assassin's creed kind of fell off and it's kind of shit and dad of wars will actually really fucking good yeah no it's it's thriving right now it's thriving and surviving and it's still surviving after sonic frontier fucking pot like dropped being like ha, ha, ha. now i'm still daddy it's like damn okay shit i mean i say Say a lie. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> Pop your chest out. Pop your chest out. And he pops that. That man pops his chest out with so much pride. It's like, you know what? Fair. Fair. All right. But continuing. These people love his friggin'. They love the man. I don't know if he's a good dude. I have no idea of, of his person. But Oh, yeah. No, he's a fucking psychopath. He, he's kind of a psychopath during his earlier days. Mm, he's during the... Uh... Aggressive killing... Fucking random maidens, where it's a QT in one of the games. Oh no, I meant the I meant the dude who's the voice actor. Oh, I don't, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, the only thing I remember him other being a part of was um, I'm gonna be so upset if I can't remember this. It's a gate. I know that much. Boulder's gate. No, no, it's a it's a very important gate that allowed people to like go dimension hopping and all this other stuff. And it was an old TV show about the gate, Stargate. I think is, is exactly what it's oh, called. Oh, okay. So by the way, the 2018 God of War was actually voiced by a Christopher Judge. Oh. Hey, uh, let me double check if there is any other versions. Christopher Judge, Christopher. Oh, okay, this is interesting. So obviously, the Dad of Wars is by Christopher Judge. Um, the original God of War, uh, outside of a young Kratos version, were all originally done by a lovely individual known as T.C. Carson. 
Uh, yeah, no. All of the other God of Wars were originally voiced by T.C. Carson. And the young version of Kratos was by uh, Anthony Del... Del Bio? Del Rio? Oh, Del Rio. Del Rio. Del Rio. Uh, Stargate, yeah, yeah, He was a real Stargate. Oh, okay. Yeah. But yeah, so, technically, Kratos also had a long-running voice actor for the long for the long run until dad of dad of war happened and then they switched out voice actors because they needed tired out tired out god uh, that has fucked so many bitches and stuff like that actually i'm curious what who what now we're kind of going a little bit in depth real quick before we do anything so tc carson has voice ooh I think you like this. Ra's al Ghul from the Justice League versus the Teen Titans. Mace Got Windu it. for both the uh, animated series, The Tales of the Jedi, The Lego Star Wars, uh, Far, Far Cry Primal, Disney Infinite's version of Mace Windu, obviously the like all the Kratos until Dead of War, Afro Samurai the video game as, sword, as quotation, Saw the Master. Uh, Tron Evolution as Chalice, Mace Windu, Mace Windu. <laughs> Hotshot Golf, there was actually apparently a cameo of Kratos. <laughs> okay, well, shit, alright. Uh, Brother 4, Swordmaster from the actual animated series Afro Samurai. Cool, I fucks with it. Uh, Aragon, the the video game, Baten Ka uh, Kaito's origin of Gullio. Let's see, Saints Row. Actually, he was uh, Anthony Green for uh, Saints Row. Huh. Uh, the wait, Ugh, fucking eyes. The outfit, Kratos, 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 Mace Windu. Clarence from the animated Matrix. Mace Windu. He. Oh. Huh. So he also did the voice for the Disney's Lilo and Stitch Hawaii Discovery as Cobra Bubbles. And then some kid show stuff in Rugrats. Yeah. So that man that you recognize as Kratos is known as TC Carson, except for the two. The, the the more recent ones the, the more recent ones still are like again christopher judge lowly individual so i fucks with it uh oh right before i lose track uh, what was it what were they saying these fucking monsters oh i'll be right back okay i'll just right keep back. going with it yay all right Let's see. So, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, praising, manipulating time. Now, in November 2022, over two years later, the Sands of Time remake is nowhere to be found after a series of delays, the last of which came with no new release date. It seems that Ubisoft is tired of fans asking them questions about the troubled project because the publisher recently posted a short FAQ that provides some answers about the about what's going on. But it doesn't also make it sound like the game will be out anytime soon, Sadler. So, yesterday, on Ubisoft official support site, the publisher posted an FAQ with the catchy title, Information on Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time Remake. It's a short FAQ about, I mean, a, but right out of the gate, using bold text, Ubisoft confirms that the game is still being developed by Ubisoft Montreal, despite rumors that the remake may uh, may have been canned. Further, Ubisoft confirms that it has no other plans for remaking any. Oh. That's kind of disappointing. Uh, let me continue. <sighs> Further, Ubisoft confirms that it has no other plans for remaking any other Prince of Persia games in the future, which makes sense considering how much trouble it's been to remake just one of them. And I'm okay. I'm just sitting here confused, being like. They got it to work for the PS fucking 2. What is the legitimate struggle to get a concept of the game 
and use a rewind mechanic. I, I guess I'm not a game developer. That's the only thing. So my opinion is like compared to pennies. And uh, yeah. I thought they sold off uh, Ubisoft Montreal. Okay. Ironically enough, yes. I am back. Welcome back. I know we're probably getting close to time, right? Yeah, we have to end at 12 and it's 11 or 45, probably 46 now. Okay, uh, I'll at least cut to it. So by the way, Sakura, so this remake of the first game is going to be the one and only Prince of Persia game <laughs> that was supposed to happen. But guess what? It was guess where it was supposed to be made? Ubisoft Montreal. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. We're not seeing that fucking game. No. And they have, I don't know what it is about the Montreal teams, but they they are not doing it. I mean uh they kind of sold off Montreal like uh, Ubisoft Montreal and renamed it. Oh, yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Also, funny fact about that, too. They also filed for bankruptcy for that, too. I think it was the Montreal one. All I know is I remember there was a division in Montreal. So... Always it, a division. Yup. You mean the subtraction at this point? Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. So long story short, they're saying it's, it's not canceling it but it's not gonna do any like pre-orders and whatever the hell and uh yeah and i'll be all especially since montreal was supposed to be like oh hey yeah we're supposed to finish this game that was already made but made it prettier yeah we're not we're not getting that so, yeah no very disappointed Kind of hoped for a remake or at least a cleaned up version. But nope, fuck that. Alright. Uh, anything for you to say while we at least do speed version? No, no, I, I don't have anything to say on it. I just am sad, but understand completely. This is, like, like I said, it's always expected. How they mess it up is the game that I play every day with, with these things, so... It wasn't, it didn't hit me by surprise. I knew it was only a matter of if and when. Hmm, I'm trying to at least pick Hopefully, yeah. there will be, there will be something better down the line. And that'll be the, uh, the uptake to this. Uh, I'm going to at least go by the title. Massive Protest Netflix. Because I'm a little bit aware of this. And also the conversation behind it. Mm -hmm. So, since, you know, we're done with the Prince of Persia, I do hope someone at least eventually gets a hold of it. It would be cool, but if not, shit sucks. Anyways, doing a quick slide of the next subject, we are talking about... Toss a coin to your witcher, oh valley of depression. Yeah. So... Fun facts about this one. Um, you know, outside of the games of The Witcher, uh, we had a lovely show of The Witcher running for three seasons, leading into a fourth. Actor for it, for the guy that plays as The Witcher, very good. He's, re he's actually really good. And funny thing is, he is an avid fan of The Witcher series and also the light novels. The only thing that sucks, he is putting his sword away for um, a one, a new project, aka he got asked to be Superman. So, for anyone that's curious about that, that that that's the reason. There, that's an optional reason that he's putting his sword away to just you know sign up for something that would probably pay better. Eh. And also, apparently, he's previously had instances. Of butting heads with um, the writers for the Witcher TV show because apparently, fun fact, apparently some of the writers that were there originally for the Witcher uh, TV show 
didn't actually like the games or the light novels, which doesn't make sense to me. Why do you agree to write a fucking show if you don't like the the show? Money. Money. Just money. Yeah. Oh, and apparently... The money that you can get from people who think like you do and also want to make fun of the show. Yeah. The show didn't seem bad. I, I only saw, like, the first season. So I have no... Season one was, was great just because I could see the actual love of of the character in his portrayal and although some of them didn't have the same vibe some of them felt like they were either underselling it or kind of like just doing something new for the adaptation his was always a Geralt that i could understand and that i i very much appreciate and dig um oh, yeah 100 percent. that being said though some some stupid nonsense is what it is some filthy stupid nonsense that doesn't make sense to this day as to uh why no. just... they didn't just agree to stop screwing around with an unlimited resource of money a season like a series of seasons that could go on for seven seasons and earn them stupid money with cast and crew that actually like what they're doing at least one person who's super into it and he's the lead character in the, the stinking story so it's like yep. you have all of it you have everything you need to make it Better. perfect yeah yes and and then you just drop the ball by doing what every netflix adaptation has done up to this point money with barring like some i guess there are exceptions to that, yeah. Yeah, there's there's friggin' Cyberpunk Edge Runners, which saved a franchise. Which saved it and it. also allowed it to have a sequel. That's Plan sequel. And DLC. So yeah. They saved a franchise with an anime. anime. That's right, anime lovers. Anime saves lovers. Yeah. And also the lolly stays. I still don't condone it, but you know, if it saved the franchise, whatever. You know, she didn't look like a lolly, so that's the only thing. Ah, uh, anyways. Fair enough. Besides the point, I don't know my personal opinion. Whatever. Anyways, anyways, anyways. Yeah. So <sighs> there are people that are trying to petition as I'm at least looking at this video on the side. But I, I don't know. I feel like with the Gar like the actor Geralt just kind of like putting his sword away, letting someone else take his role. It's I don't know. It's kind of hard to at least believe, or at least would want to stay interested, because the guy that literally fought the fucking writers to at least make it very on point to the fucking series. To be like, well, you know, I'm going to get a better role anyways because he's given an opportunity to be Superman. No matter how shitty it is, it's still a better paying role. Um, it just kind of sucks. Because you see a passionate actor and then giving an opportunity to go back and be a, a superhero versus just being a, an amazing hunter. It's going to be a missed role, and I feel like, I'm gonna be real, the show's probably gonna go extremely downhill by this fourth season. Because there's already plenty of people that are gonna try to attempt to boycott the show anyways. So... I guess, here's hoping the boycott works, and... they produce something good again and they're able to stick around for seven seasons to make something that isn't hot smelly garbage on netflix yeah but my faith in that is like believing netflix to at least stay something that makes sense oh you're trying to at least share accounts with your family members or your friends Nope, gotta pay a little bit extra. Mmm, I like that money. And you know what the next 
Have you heard of what they're trying to fucking do as well? No. So, what Netflix is wanting you to do... So, you know Stadia is getting shut down, right? Oh, they're finally shutting it down? Yeah, they're, they're actually officially shutting it down. That, um... The Stadia, the fucking... Ooblet, or whatever the fucking called. I don't know that. They're all getting shut down. Um... um. But you know what that also meant? Netflix, at least over here, being like, I have a amazingly a smart, intelligent idea. Let's also try to make video games off of our app. Yeah, they're trying to do it, video games. So outside of not staying in their lane, they're also trying to develop video games for Netflix. Of course they are. Yeah. Yeah, they already at least even uh, paid a, a gaming company to at least also help out with that. No one's going to do that, right? No one's silly like that, right? They, they sold out. They, they agreed to it. They, they, they kind of did already, Sakura. I'm not upset. A, a game company did yield to the idea. I'm not upset. You're disappointed, not upset. Yes. That is the one. That is the one. It just Whatever, it blows though. my mind. But we live in a day and age where things continue to progress in a very strange, strange way. Yep, and disappointing. Never, it never seen it comes to the territory, though. Yeah. But I'm still, I, I still have, you know, pride in the fact that Henry Cavill decide to do this he didn't have to he just took the money and, and, and shut up and just said nothing and kept it moving and the dude decided uh i like this and this is this is the hill that i'll stand on stand fight and die no and to me as at least like for me that is actually extremely noble to at least fight what you believe is a right and to at least stay by that for like three seasons, actually. That is extremely noble. I knew it. Noble Six always lived in us. All Stop. Us. No! <laughs> noble Six is dead. They're not coming back. It's coming back. No, they're not. I want that story where the, the people from Halo do the same thing. I don't know if I've shown you. I will show you. Uh, when I'm on my phone and already helping my mom, but there is uh, a video of I don't know how you feel about Call of Duty, but I'm fine with COD. I have no Mario real complaint. Mario Kart 2 had a moment uh, in the story, the like the campaign of it, uh -huh. um, that basically you I think you get to some point as two characters, Ghost and Roach. You, you play as Roach throughout the entirety of it, but. Um, at the end, you're basically betrayed by your commander, which is this dude named Shepard, and he just kind of guns you down, Shepherd. or guns down Ghost. Um, and then while you're like there in the wreckage, uh, he walks up to you. Um, no reason to do this, mind you. Has, has no reason to shoot you dead other than to cover his tracks, which honestly, by not telling you anything, and then just kind of leaving you to your own devices would have achieved the exact same goal. No, You're just no, a scum no. dude. No witnesses. Friggin' scum, whatever dude. But basically, guns him down in front of you and then takes you over to where the, all the bodies are being like tossed and over to be burn. piled up. Yeah. No, shoots you in the face first and then burns you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen... Wait, are you... This is... Yeah, yeah, this is the remake, isn't it? Or is this the OG Modern Warfare 2? The, the, uh, the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. The, the remake has it where... Now that even happens, I think they get rid of Roach. I don't know what they do to Roach, but oh! they, I didn't see a Roach. Basically, they play that same scene, but instead, uh, this dude basically has uh, a bunch of, uh, I guess, the freedom fighters that they had allied with. And then uh, the same shepherd dude basically says, nah, now they're, now they're your enemy. Corral them and kill them. And uh, the dude who was like, their leader or whatever is like, no, you'll let my people go and we'll walk out of here and this, what the hell are you even doing? And he's like, that's not what the orders are. 
you're the bad guys now. Act as intended. And they get into a fight. And they obviously win because here in 2022, nothing like that ever happens. U.S. soldiers don't lose. Are you insane? Um, we win. Uh, but yeah, so they basically you basically escape as as soap i think by being slippery see because he's he's soap <laughs> he's slippery um i hate it and uh no that's 100 percent the thing and the dude who's named ghost well you never knew he was there one minute he's behind a vehicle and literally no one looks and then he's gone he has the legs of a cheetah i just it's not oh. as it's not as it doesn't hit as well but the point i'm trying to make is in that other one basically you someone made like a a, a rendition of the original and basically you get told that shepherd's a bad dude from jump while he's coming out of the the helicopter to quote unquote take you guys in out of uh being shot at from the forest behind you and you just pull out your gun and shoot him with right. a deagle several times and then you go on a fight an entire army in like this open field what um, fucking Garfield effect ass story you're re you're telling me while I had to originally remember it? Mm hmm. I hate it here. It's the find? funniest friggin' thing, and I loved it. <sighs> I'm about to have a stroke. <sighs> Christ Almighty. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, right. that's. My, my thoughts on the Henry Calva thing and the uh, Witcher, I fully support the idea that they change and that they listen to him <laughs> and, and, and take him back because that's the only way that you're going to have a good Witcher series. Um, I don't know this uh, Liam Hinsworth guy. They say he's good. I don't care. That dude already nailed Geralt head to toe. Personality and everything. And if they go forward with this Liam dude, it's only so that they continue making a parody out of The Witcher. And if that's the case, I want no business with them. Pretty much. I don't know. But, alright. Uh, you? we... Well, I'm gonna be real. They're probably going to at least disregard because the man had to continue fighting. Not just fight. Continue fighting. Or just at least keep continuity and try to get emotion for the character. Because if he didn't, you'd have a cardboard character. True. But he fought and he tried to, and even in the fourth one, he was going to try to at least push for having his emotional... Well, I mean, well, in the series, he was supposed to have more emotional moments. Even if witchers are supposed to be like, eh, they're slightly emotionally eh, edgy, edgy, e. But even then, th there was supposed to be emotional moments with it. So I respect it wholeheartedly. Oh, and yeah. Okay. All right. Anyways, speed round. Venom versus Spider-Man. We got we we are out of time, so we have to. We, do... we can't talk much about it, but all you need to know is Spider-Man is still amazing. Venom looked really cool even though he was evil it turns out mm, he was just horny. turned evil because of the stupid demon lady and venom was awesome right up until that point and even as he was made to be a villain guess what still an incredible dude yeah um, like it's hard to ruin venom you just can't do it unless you're really trying and at that point you suck you introduce the other symbiote versions that venom's given birth to and make their personalities extra trash because fun, Which fun fact fun fact there are actually more symbiotes of like that were birthed from venom yeah he has like a whole family yeah. whole family tree we don't talk about the red one though we don't talk about cassidy we don't talk about but Cassidy's. yeah murder freaking murder murder and then the fucking uh movie where i i i I have a, a fucking X Men mutant girlfriend that I fucked. Jeez. That was a whole second movie where he just wanted. But I'm like, wait, isn't he just a fucking crazy murderer? 
Now I have a love interest. It's like okay. It's like, all right. Whatever. I mean, all right, buddy. I missed the part where that was my problem. I missed the part where that made sense and how they tried so hard in the fucking first Venom movie to not bring up Peter Parker or Spider-Man or make it that, oh, hey, by the way, didn't you know Venom's Even also though Parker? he's literally the driving force of... For Venom. Venom, yes. You cannot have Venom without Spider-Man, but they did it. They, were, crazy, they were able to do it. Crazy men did it. Those crazy bastards were able to succeed. You pulled off the impossible. You changed the storyline. You rewrote the timeline, you bastards. Until somehow they're gonna magically make it can like connect again. This is just like Sega and the first iteration of Sonic. <laughs> I don't wanna think about it. No? I don't wanna think about it. It'll haunt you at night. It'll always haunt me. It's always been. Read only memories. Uh... Okay. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, we. All right. Go ahead. All right. Oh, no, I was going to just end it. All right, everyone. Uh, we cannot do the FAQ or anything like that, but at least we'll hold it for next yeah, have, time. I'll, I'll, I'll double up on the stuff for next time because I still have like two other things. Well, no, just one. Yeah, no, it was two. Two other things we can definitely get into next I time. Just, I can just pull stuff out of my butt from all the new games that literally is coming. And also anime that's coming next year that we can discuss. But Sounds that like is for next time. Since soccer has yep. to cease. I have to jazz it myself. Yeah, yep. effective immediately. Yep. So I'll at least end right. it off. Go do your thing. Alrighty. I will see you later, my dude. Catch you later. Yeet. Later. <laughs> bye bye, everybody. I saw work. I'm trying to wake up at five in the morning. Yeet. Oh, you are insane. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so anyways uh so we're gonna at least end the stream off apologies for uh not having the sexy the lovely uh redeems up but uh only be simply because we uh podcast no redeems but tomorrow yes redeems uh tomorrow's oh fuck no actually there's gonna be no redeems Tomorrow is going to be the Ruby D and D. Uh, hopefully, I'm going to be awake enough for that. I do need to at least sleep, only for the simple fact that uh, if I do not sleep, I will uh, be fucking miserable. So I'm going to throw y'all at uh, the lovely Shaw Tori, my fiance. Just go show some love. Thank you all once again. Uh, for those that are at least able to stay, it would be very much appreciated to at least stay for the raid. If not, I do hope you have a lovely day, night, or whatever time zone it is for y'all. And yeah, so I will catch you all later. Good night, sweet dreams. I uh, hope to see y'all tomorrow. Bye! And also, this will be re-uploaded, but first I'm trying to re-upload uh, episode, uh, I mean, the last... Uh, sh the last time we did the podcast. Yeah, so look forward to that next time. Okay, bye.